Action buttons are basically hyperlinks that we looked at last time, but with a little bit of extra functionality. I've got slide five selected here just to show you how they how these work. They're basically auto shapes. So I'm using the auto shape function at the bottom and then up to action buttons. And you can see we get a range of action buttons available to us. Hovering over each one of those shows you the functionality that that action button has. For example, this one is an action button that takes us to the home, basically slide one of the presentation. We could use this action button to make us go forward onto the next slide or to the previous slide or to the end of the presentation. Let's insert a next slide pres uh, action button to show how this works. So it's action buttons, next slide, or forward to the next slide. And then we just draw it like we do any type of um, auto shape. And we get this dialog box appear, the action settings dialog box. If you want to talk about that, just remember that is an auto shape. You can do all the normal things such as recolouring and resizing and moving around. Okay, so the action settings dialog box has appeared and it basically says on mouse click at the top there. On mouse click, this is what happens. When you click the mouse, hyperlink to the next slide. And this is why I said earlier that it didn't matter which option we choose because we can alter it here. So although I drew an next slide option, I can change that to be the previous slide or the first slide or the last slide or a custom show that you've created or to a slide, a numbered slide. So you might make it jump to slide 10 or you can go to the internet. So it's really just a hyperlink. I'll leave this on next slide. You should also notice that you can get it to run a button. So run as program. So when you click the button, perhaps open up a calculator or some different software. You can also add sound to the effect as well. Finally, the last thing I want to look at in this dialog box is the mouse over. This is basically exactly the same as mouse click, as you'll see. What happens when your mouse goes over the top of that button? You don't have to click. This is really good when you're creating interactive presentations, perhaps for a user to use by themselves rather than uh, with you as the presenter. So we turn to mouse click. We've got it set to hyperlink next slide and we'll click on OK. And that's all there is to it really. We'll add a couple more of these action buttons. So we do auto shape, action button. Let's select the home one because this will jump us to slide one the first slide, click on OK, and let's just try one more, insert action buttons, and we'll choose back or the previous slide. So you can see there we've got sort of a little um, navigation tool, haven't we? We've got go backwards, go home, go forwards. We'll run this show to see how what it looks like. So the first few slides haven't got these on. Get to the fifth slide, and there we've got our navigation buttons. That can use the one to the right to jump to the next slide in the presentation. I can use the middle one to go to the first slide in the presentation. Or I can use this one to jump to the previous slide in the presentation. We'll end that show. Really, action buttons are just Microsoft's way of, of helping you. But you can add that functionality to any object in your presentation. I'm just going to insert a simple piece of clip art, but it could be text placeholders, it could be charts. There's my piece of clip art. If I right click on that object, then I can do action settings. That basically brings up the action settings dialog box. So I can make any object into an action button. Oh, a little PS here. Adding this kind of button sequence to every slide will, of course, get a little bit tedious, especially in a large presentation. So don't forget your master slide. Very useful to add things onto that you want on every single slide.